Right, hello everyone, welcome to my video blog. I'm doing a video blog of my model railway. Um, I'm trying to control my accessories in a model railway using the Arduino and using JMRI um, on Panel Pro using the CMRI library. I've done a video previously to this which shows you how to set up your Arduino um, to give you your 48 different outputs. I was controlling some LEDs using Panel Pro. In this video, I can demonstrate um, how to control a sensor so we can have a sensor on your model railway that will be updating to Panel Pro. At the moment, I'm just connected to the button um, which is connected to pin 3 on the Arduino and ground. Um, this could be a relay switch on your track or it could be a current sensing device which the Arduino can use or it could be infrared, whatever you fancy. And we can use these for occupied sensing of the trains and then controlling the signals if you want using the outputs. So the basic setup on the Arduino code is over here. Um, I've set up the button defined on uh, pin 3, so pin 3 has been loaded up as the button. I've got a button state variable set up so that we can store the state that the button's in to use later. We've got pin mode, button, input, pull up. I'm using the internal pull up resistor of the Arduino because I don't want to use external pull up resistors with more adding more wiring and electrics. Both our digital writes are still on here. But now we've got a digital read button. So we're reading the button, pin 3, and we put it into the button state so we can store whatever the button state of the button is, whether it's a 1 or it's a 0. And we've got cmri.set bit 0. So I'm using bit 0, sending that out to the panel pro, and I'm sending it the state of the button. So it'd be either 1 or 0. So the bit will be set to 1 or 0. And the address on the CM uh, panel pro will be 1001 because we go one advance. I upload this to your um, Arduino. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do this here for the video because um, it takes time. Um, and we just check that we're still connected to POM, POM port 5 on mine. If you switched around your COM ports and change your USB over to a different USB slot on your computer, then your COM port will change. And you need to know that because you'll have to change that in JMRI. Right, okay, start up your JMRI Panel Pro. Open your profile. Now you can, now you can see that mine's all black. Um, use, I'm using serial on COM5. If this is red, that's because you switch your USB around. You need to go back into the edit and the preferences and change that to the COM port you're now using which you would have found on your Arduino. Now I've opened, go to panels and we're going to open the panel that you saved earlier which had the LEDs if you saved it properly and click open the panel. Now go to tools, tables and we're going to be bringing up the sensor table because we want to set up a sensor. Right, I seem to have a problem with this setting up. This one, delete that, I don't know why it's there. Right, so we're going to set up a new sensor. Um, so we click on the Add button to add a new sensor. The system name is going to be Arduino, which or whatever you called your Arduino at the time. And our address is going to be 1001. Um, and I'm going to call it S1. So you can call it wherever you like. Click OK. And close that window down. And you can see that we've now got address 1001, which is bit 0 on the Arduino. And we've got an S1 name that I've given it, and it says it's active. I'll just move this down a bit so you can see the Arduino board. Um, it will start flashing. Mine will take a bit of problems um, taking time for things to work because I'm using a USB camera, so I'm assuming the USB camera is trying to send data through at the same time while the, Ar the Arduino is sending data through on a separate USB, so there's a bit of a problem there. Um, you shouldn't get that. You should see over here on your Arduino board the lights TR TX and RX flashing on and off. So you can see that the Arduino is now communicating with the panel pro continuously. Just minimise this right here. And so if I now go to my button and I select the button, you should see on your sensor panel that it's gone inactive. And if I let go of the button, you should see it's gone active. So we can now control, we've got a sensor through the Arduino, updating the panel pro, the condition, the state that the sensor's in either open or closed. 
that's quite a handy bit of kit. We can have 24 of these at the moment on just one Arduino. Um, so if we now go over to lights, so we can add this sensor to the light, and you've got my first light that I set up, which is on the uh, board, it's pin 13, it's the LED that's on the board. If I turn it on, you'll see, hopefully you see that over here in the board, on and off. Um, I'm going to edit this, because I want to add the sensor to it. Um, well, I've already done it before, so I'll delete these. So you click on add control, select by sensor, because we've just set up a sensor, and we have to put the name in that we've just called our sensor, which is S1, it's got the same name. And you can decide when the LED should be on, whether it should be active or inactive, it's up to you. Um, depending on what you're doing with your layout, that, could be, that look may be important. If we click create new, so we've now got our sensor set up here as a, a control for our light, and click update. Remember to save your config configuration. Um, and then you can see that the LED at the moment is showing on. And our LED and the board is actually on because our sensor must be active. So if I now go ahead and push the button, you can see the LED's gone off when I push the button. And the LED's on when I let go of the button. And on the screen here, LED's on, off, LED's on. And if I go to the sensor, when I'm active, the LED's on because we set it as on when active. When I'm inactive, the LED's on. So that's worked pretty well. I'll save this table so that I don't lose it again. Save over what was previously there. As so you can see, that's um, quite an easy setup to set up sensors. We can now read 24 sensors using this Arduino, and we can control 48 outputs now. Um, and that, and it, we'll improve on this because now we can control sensor inputs, we could have automatic signaling as the train goes along using sensors and we know that we can also control um, server outputs which I'll be doing a demonstration on later. Well if you liked this video um, please subscribe, I'll be adding more up, I'll be doing the servo control soon. I've also got a video, uh, a website blog and the link to my website blog will be below. That gives a better demonstration and um, a written description of how to set this up and with all the code. So if you're interested, you can go along there and you can just copy the code across. Um, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe because it helps me with my YouTube channel and, and keeps me being able to post more videos like this. Goodbye.